Hello everyone, and welcome back to Facts AF. My name is Ali, and today we are going to explore the wonderful terrestrial planets in our solar system. Mercury is the planet that hangs out closest to the sun. This wonderful red planet is named after the Roman god Mercury, the instant messenger of the ancient Greeks due to its swift movement through the sky. Think you've had a long day. Mercury's days are 176 Earth days. By the way, their year is only 88 Earth days, so those days would literally feel like years. Mercury is a bit of a loner. It has no rings and no moons, but is actively shopping the market. As if the days aren't long enough, the temperature on Mercury is up to 425 degrees Celsius on the day side, which means your pizza will be ready 10 to 12 minutes after exiting the spaceship. Due to its thin atmosphere, the night side is a frosty minus 179 degrees Celsius. Anybody got an extra sweater? Did you know that 13 times a century, Mercury passes or transits in front of the sun from our point of view on Earth? This allows our scientists to study more about it and the sun. Mercury skipped magnetic field day with a magnetic field strength of 1% of Earth's. This little Titan Mercury is made up of a metal core that is 75% of the diameter of the planet where Earth rings in at a mere 19%. With all this being said, Mercury is the second most dense planet in the solar system. This contributes to the creation of wonderful magnetic tornadoes where solar rays are sucked up and redistributed in amazing vortexes. Mercury has an elliptical orbit constantly dancing closer and further away from the sun. This beat up little planet looks rough with lots of craters, scarps, and hollows on its surface. It has the honor of hosting the largest impact crater in the solar system, which is called Calorus Basin or Hot Basin in Greek. Mercury is all broken up with cliffs or scarps that were formed by the planet's intense heating and amazing cooling. It also features hollows, which are unique to Mercury. These are shallow depressions in impact craters. Scientists are still scratching their heads on how these amazing hollows are made. Even with Mercury's insane heat, water ice still forms in areas that are always shaded, as well as at the North and South Pole, where the temperatures remain cool. NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft orbited Mercury from 2011 to 2015. This provided scientists with an amazing amount of data about our solar system's tiniest rocky planet. Venus is second closest to the sun and is the hottest planet in our solar system. It is a terrestrial or rocky planet that rotates in the opposite direction compared to most of the other planets in the solar system. Just like Mercury, Venus is rolling solo through space. No moons, no rings, just pure planetary independence. Venus and Earth are totally twins, with Earth only being about 5% bigger than Venus. It is the ultimate slowpoke. Its day drags on for 243 Earth days, making it longer than its year, which is a mere 225 Earth days. Talk about taking your time. Venus is literally on a cosmic slow motion. The atmosphere on Venus is ridiculously thick made up of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This has created a greenhouse effect that traps heat on the planet. Could somebody crack a window? This thickness leads to an atmospheric pressure 92 times greater than Earth's. The combination of the atmosphere and slow rotation cause Venus to have periods of day and night that can last for as long as 58 Earth days. Venus has an amazing double vortex storm structure at its poles with a double eye feature and winds moving as fast as 400 kilometers an hour. Venus's thick clouds reflect back about 70% of the sunlight that reaches the planet. This makes Venus one of the brightest objects in the night sky. These dense clouds extends up to 70 kilometers from the surface. The surface temperature of Venus can reach 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. This makes it the hottest planet in our solar system. This amazing planet is extremely geologically active with lots of mountains, valleys, and thousands of volcanoes. As a matter of fact, Venus has more volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system. Tesserae are highly deformed regions of the Venusian surface, characterized by complex ridges and valleys, indicating significant tectonic activity. There are two large, amazing highland areas, Ishtar Terra in the north and Aphrodite Terra along the equator. Maswell Montes is the highest mountain peak rising 11 kilometers above the planet's surface. This majestic mountain is located in the Ishtar Terra. Venus is showing off with its unique corona. These huge circular features are caused by magma upwellings, making Venus the trendsetter of planetary fashion. Thanks for sticking around. We hope that you are enjoying this video. If you are, please leave a like and subscribe to see more amazing content. 
If you like the cute little planets, make sure to check out our Amazon merch store to see our full selection of products. Now back to the video. Earth is the third planet from the sun and also the home world of most of you wonderful subscribers. About 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water, but less than 3% of it is fresh. The rest is salty, like a giant planetary soup. Earth has a powerful magnetic field, which protects us from solar winds. It's like having an invisible cosmic shield. Earth's magnetic field is generated by the swirling of molten iron in our outer core. Our atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen. This is fantastic as we really like to breathe oxygen. Earth's atmosphere extends up to about 10,000 kilometers from the surface. The atmosphere is like a superhero cape, shielding us from harmful solar rays and keeping our planet's temperature just right, neither too hot nor too cold, whether it's day or night. This protective atmosphere is made up of layers, including the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. It's like an atmospheric lasagna. This beautiful blue planet has a tilt and journeys around the sun creating a yearly light show, changing the sunlight angles and giving us the four seasons. Earth's moon is the fifth largest in the solar system and is our only natural satellite. The Earth spins around like a top every 24 hours giving us the magical cycle of day and night. Earth is the heavyweight champion of the solar system, being the densest planet around. There's more water trapped in minerals in Earth's mantle than in all of the oceans on the surface combined. Our planet has secret seas. The Great Barrier Reef is Earth's largest living masterpiece, stretching over 2,253 kilometers and is teeming with marine life. Mount Everest reigns as the highest peak on Earth, while the Mariana Trench plunges to the planet's lowest depths, creating a dramatic contrast between Earth's extremes. Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It's more like a squished ball, slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. Major earthquakes can shift the Earth's axis and even change the length of a day by milliseconds. Talk about a seismic schedule shakeup. Earth is surrounded by space debris, including defunct satellites and fragments from collisions posing risks to active spacecraft. Come on guys, time to tidy up. Mars, often called the red planet, it gets its rusty red color from the iron oxide or rust covering its surface. So it's basically a giant rusty ball spinning through space. This rusty red dust is only skin deep being only a few millimeters at its thinnest and 12 meters at its thickest. This leads to a diverse color palette at the surface with some areas being an orange red and other areas being more of butterscotch color. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, which are likely captured asteroids. Phobos is gradually getting closer to Mars and will eventually either crash into the planet or break apart to form a ring. Scientists believe that Mars once had a massive ocean covering nearly a third of its surface. Imagine Mars as a water world. That would have been quite a different sight. Mars has icy polar caps made of water, and carbon dioxide. If all that ice melted, it could turn Mars into an amazing water world, covering the whole planet in about 35 meters of water. That would make for one rusty ocean. Mars's atmosphere is about 100 times thinner than Earth's and is composed mostly of carbon dioxide. This means there's not much protection from the sun's radiation, making it a harsh place for future astronauts. Mars has only about 38% of Earth's gravity. This means you'd weigh much less on Mars. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh only 38 pounds on Mars. Imagine how high you could jump. Tiny spherical formations called blueberries have been found on Mars. These hematite-rich formations were likely created by ancient water activity, but they look like little Martian candies. The Martian Grand Canyon, Valles Marineris, is the largest canyon in the solar system stretching over 4,000 kilometers. It's so long it could stretch across the entire United States. Mars boasts the colossal Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system. Towering at about 22 kilometers high, it's nearly three times taller than Mount Everest, a true giant among mountains. Mars is pockmarked with craters, each telling a story of ancient impacts. From the massive Hellas Basin to the smaller yet striking Gale Crater, these scars from space collisions reveal Mars's dynamic and tumultuous history. Craters on Mars that are over 60 kilometers in diameter get some star-studded names, 
honoring legendary scientists and sci-fi icons like Newton, Roddenberry, and Cassini. It's like a cosmic hall of fame, celebrating the geniuses who dreamed big about the universe. Craters on Mars that are under 60 kilometers in diameter get named after towns with populations of around 100,000 people. It's like giving a shout out to Earth's bustling communities, forever etching their names on the Martian landscape. Mars experiences massive dust storms and dust devils that can be as large as a football field and as tall as a skyscraper. These dusty whirlwinds are like Martian tornadoes but are generally less destructive. In 2014, Curiosity discovered a strange, hollowed-out boulder nicknamed Egg Rock. Scientists are still unsure how it formed, adding to Mars's many mysteries. In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter captured an image of a region on Mars that looked like a human face, sparking speculation and conspiracy theories. It was later revealed to be an optical illusion caused by shadows. The planet has been visited by several robotic missions, including rovers like Curiosity and Perseverance. Mars is the ultimate robot hangout. It's the only planet we know that's entirely populated by robots. Glad to see that you stuck around to the end of the video. Please leave a comment with the fun fact topic that you would like for us to cover next. Remember, like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button to see all of our amazing videos as they come out.